Should be live. Welcome, everyone. Hopefully, this is all working. I've got a completely new setup right now. I am uh, streaming via my dedicated stream machine. I have to, had to reset up everything. I'm also like, I have a completely different visual setup, and I'm also running through my Elgato stream deck that I've had for our uh, stream, whatever, the uh, HD60S or Pro, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit different, but. But uh, because of that, I'm able to, uh, you know, be a little bit more. I, I'll be able to basically do a little bit more with my uh, streams. So Ew. I defaulted to like Times New Roman or something. It's, that's like basically a crime. Yeah. Yeah, there's some things I'm gonna have to figure out, but um, like the fact that it restarts its <laughs> interest cinematic every five seconds. Uh, yeah, anyway, how, how is everybody doing? Um, hopefully everybody's doing pretty well. Uh, freaking Gothic, do I have a light? No. Um, yeah, it's a little bit different. It's more complicated for me than it is for you. It should be pretty much what you've been used to. I didn't get the background ready, but we'll do that next time. Hopefully, uh, I ran into some issues. And so our story begins. I ran into some issues with uh, PlayStation 3. I, I didn't realize that PlayStation 3 and initially 4 had a really uh, aggressive um, copyright, not basically encoded their their video and, out, and audio output. So I wasn't able to get Dark Souls or Demon Souls to run today, but hopefully next week I'm getting some more hardware. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. I haven't played this for, God, probably 10 years, something like that, however, however long it's been. But who is the hero of our tale? Those faces are creepy. Um, let his destiny unfold. Yeah, let me know if the sound levels are alright. I did some testing. Again, this is very different than I'm, what I'm used to, so it's going to be a bit a bit bumpy to start out with. But this will be better because I'll have a dedicated stream to dedicated computer that will handle all my video, my audio, and compositing the whole image and then streaming that. So it should be much stabler down the road. Yeah, bump up the audio for this scene. Like she's been conducting. All right, it was like kind of that whole is all epic, but it was also kind of a joke because that's just bird poop. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, yuck. Well, that's, I hear that's lucky. That's Lionhead for you. Like finding a four leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. All right. The Passing age of ridiculous so nice uh, tutorials for everything. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. Lord Lucian? He's been really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. <laughs> what is going on over there? 
Come with me, little brother. One mistake I made, I know, is that I'm uh, watching it through the stream, which means that I'm going to be having a very slight delay, which hopefully won't ruin my Hello, gameplay. I'm already going to tell it's going to drive me hungry. nuts. Have you reconsidered my offer? You look you hungry. Be that hungry. The answer is no. <gasps> You'll yeah, be that's going to be my. That's going to be really annoying, actually. <laughs> Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. I guess I can't talk to him. Wait, I want that item. Kicking chicken, or chicken kicking, whatever it is. Do you know what I like? Oh, How's everybody doing today? Come on. I can't see anything past this lot. I'm going to buy a ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land. <laughs> Fresh in your drink, Abna. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Thanks for the donation, man. For the modest price of five gold. Consider this. That's a sneaky, uh, sneaky dude. Okay, uh, I'm actually. This is gonna cripple my gameplay. I'm, I'm already regretting this. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. <laughs> ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. No pushing. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes. Um, because I'm an idiot, and I didn't realize there's going to be a huge delay. That's what this I'm watching it through my no my computer, but that's a, that has a delay because it's going through the stream, uh, Some part of you wants to going through the Elgato capture card. So yeah, it's going to be, you really think it could be almost unplayable. Actually, <laughs> I realize for five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. So she's basically what ripping off a couple real? kids. I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What yeah, is it to lose, it's going to be like steering a submarine. Yeah, I need to get another monitor or something. I I don't know. Gold to do something. I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'd have to reroute the HDMI cables. Ah, uh, God. Oi, kids. Come here a minute. I'll figure it out. Uh, uh, next stream will be better. Hello, Derek. Lose something? Derek. Uh. My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't oh, leave my Oh, I can post. skip quests. Yay! <laughs> I can the skip a. Uh, blew off in that direction. Dialogue. Through yeah. The alley by that bloke with the picture yeah, board. it's um. I don't know if you guys can tell, but so, it's uh, those warrants. but for now, let's find some more money. Yeah, it's about that much delay. So if you wonder why I'm a, a drunken idiot, it's got about a half a half a second or so. It's like if you had like a fifty or a seventy five millisecond TV. So uh yeah, the response time is gonna be a bit rough. I'm gonna be like a steering <laughs> this is gonna be like uh GTA four driving. Hello, children. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the result. Positively betwazzled. Be what? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Might as well have a really strong drink, yeah. With a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. And the Saurus. No, I couldn't play it through watching the actual live stream, but, but this could be I'm watching it through the... Stream I get to my computer, which you're not supposed to do. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. That was somewhat lacking in. 
Well, it was well, just plain nasty, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I only have one sheet of magic paper, so it'll have to do. I wonder if that actually. Oh, that decreased my purity, right? I just have to wait three months. This game has like a uh, uh, a binary. It doesn't have like a, a one axis alignment. It has two axes. It has good and evil, and uh, pure and and corrupt. So I didn't necessarily do an evil action, but I did a corrupt action. That was fun. And we've got our first gold coin. How do you, uh, all oh, right, it has a first person thing. Let me flip off some people. Oh. <laughs> well, really, I must say, well. <laughs> all right, let me, uh, let me mess with this person. I forgot that was actually pretty fun. Oh, come on. I want to target you, bro. Where'd he, where'd he go? You like that, you stupid All right, this jerk's like basically Sid, hey, only with dogs. Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh, oh damn! That was like a really loud sound effect. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Uh oh! I to pull out my sword. <laughs> oh god! Look at the combat is so simplistic. I just have to basically rack. Stop it! He's already dead. Ow! Did you see that? You that lunatic shot me right in the head. Hey, Ferrodactyl, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I could have taken him though. All right, let's go play with the kids. Um, oh, what's the button again? No. Thing. You've had a horrible time. Oh, I'm just talk to the dog. Scared? It won't hurt you. All right, this is what the dog I grew up with. Nice to look after you. Doge. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Of course, the dog's gonna pull our heartstrings. We're gonna take Come it on, in. Little Sparrow. Huh? I wonder if I hit her if that was a bad, it would be a bad action. <laughs> Alright, kids. Check this out. Playful. That is very much uh, Lionhead with all the reactions and little floating, you know, modifiers and stuff. Yeah, a little big adventure. I played the original. I think it was called Relentless over here. And then a little bit of big adventure two had some interesting things. They had like, they had some completely 3D environments and then some isometric environments. It was kind of interesting. They're in there. Weren't for our son. Ronnie rhymes with with parsonist. <laughs> Ronnie rhymes with parsonist. Wanted for 19 counts of setting fire to public property. Okay. Skittering and well, plotting. We have our first warrant. Oh, yeah, I have to do a bunch of mini games this part. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? So you yeah, it definitely is very much Oliver yes. Twist for sure. Oh, no, you'll find it and bring it to me, won't you, children? Like, could you please, sir? Let's could I have some more? Guy. Um, uh -huh. yeah, the uh, let me change a couple things here because it was going Want to. Want drink? I'll not discuss it. Hang on, guys. You ain't the boss of me. This new setup, it's no, going to screensaver. There we go. A friend would get an old man his drink back. Out of friendship. 
I won't let you guys yeah, totally smash yourself. Wait, um, why do you say slowly? Would you let me quickly? Let me uh, flip this guy off. Can I do something? You can dance. Give up with this. I hit him. Drink. I'll not discuss it. <laughs> Hello, what's all this then? <laughs> Gov. Oh, I can't hit him. Oh wait, there was a. Uh... Oh, I don't think it's. No, I'm your friend. What does she want then? Can I talk to her? Uh, let's do something fun. Thanks for the donation, man. I really appreciate it. Uh... A friend would get an old. How lovely! I won't let you slowly kill yourself. Wait, is there like a little uh, you say path slowly. over there. Would you let me quickly kill myself? Oh, there's another warrant. Looks I'm trying to see if I can do this it. evilly, but I think I, after all these quests, I can then choose to do evil or good, which will affect if this place becomes a slum or a nice part of town. Okay, this is for Leroy Unremarkable Stone. Suspicious, otherwise unremarkable behavior. Okay. <laughs> yes, another warrant. I really did like this game. Obviously, we've uh, ex have expanded my horizons a bit. Oh God, <laughs> expanded my horizons a bit since playing this. Oh, invisible walls. That was probably one of the most annoying things about the si the Fable series is they constantly block you off, like, even like fences and stuff. You ain't the boss of me. No, I'm your friend. Um. I guess I have to find this bottle if I'm trying to finish that quest. I would just like to do something mean to him. I think I might be evil. Being evil is a lot more fun in these games. Right, that's what it is. I can either give it to the gang leader. Shoot the Beatles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Oh, you called it, man. I'm going to break all your stuff. Hey, kid. <laughs> Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the Nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a goal from Mr. The Nickname. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, he'll be out of business in no time. <laughs> Great stuff, kid. You didn't have to, didn't have to tell me twice. Great work, kid. You've got a real talent there, you do. That'll teach Balthazar not to pay Nicky the nickname. Here, catch. Catch, hopefully. Okay, I got the gold. Watch a good start already. <laughs> Breaking barrels, yeah. Oh, really? Imagine what kind of horrible uh, demons... The uh, heroes of Diablo must be, right? <laughs> You're monsters. You're no better than those savage, vile beetles that are still in my warehouse. That was a laugh, wasn't it? Getting paid to smash things up. <laughs> and we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. <laughs> All right, got to walk. <laughs> I'm getting mad now. I'm gonna laugh at him. <laughs> I'm getting mad now. Oh, that right the timing. I'm not gonna be able to do the timing at all. Oof. Rip. There's a there's a thing where you can like time it to get a really good reaction. But yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that one. With this uh, delay going on here. Oh, drunken. Okay, so I'm going to take a left. I basically have to predict my moves then. So i got to turn right before I turn right. There we go. Oh, I've already been there.
Hey, hey, kids. Uh, social. The kids love me. Turning right exception, yeah. I'm just going to have to predict my turns now. I'm just like half second before I need to make a turn. I'll just hit the hit the gas, basically. Try to make it less intolerable for you guys. <laughs> this guy's the... All right, we're back here now. Hello, fellow kids. The warrants are around here somewhere. On top of the, uh, like, Sub 30 frames and stuff like that for this guy. All right, I need three more warrants. I'll just pretend it's Fallout 76. That's a good idea. It yeah, was pretty good. Wasn't perfect, but I thought it was pretty good. Oh, barrel to break. If I can hit it. There we go. And this game was pretty impressive for a full, a uh, uh, 360 game. At the time, it was pretty impressive. I think you're ready to fight trolls now. It's about what happened in Linehead. It's really, uh, really an example of what happens when the guy who basically ran, ran the show just kind of abandons it. All kind of goes to hell. <laughs> Nobody wanted that. You've made this town a safer place. <laughs> See, I'm learning to like compensate for the lag because it's consistent. It's not like a bad frame rate where you don't know what's going on. It's consistent lag. Uh, there we go. Um, this is just some kind of hobo shack. It's probably where we live, actually. Oh, right. There's the damn breadcrumbs. Okay, maybe I'll just follow those. That's one thing I did. I always got annoyed with this game is the, the constant breadcrumbs. You can turn them off, I think, but then you have no direction. Line well, were pretty good. I particularly like uh, black and white. Um... Fable 1 was really, really ambitious, but it, it didn't live up to its ambition. And Fable 2 is kind of, Fable 2 is kind of like, uh, kind of like the Morrowind of the series, in my opinion, because it, it was a better game overall, in my opinion. It, it, it improved a lot of things about the game, but it also negated some of the more interesting ideas and just kind of downplayed the initial ambition of the series, which was to make like a fantasy simulator. No oh, so it's a sneak over there. Bottle with note, bottle of potent booze, roughly stampered, stuppered with a rough scroll of paper. Okay. Ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take your booze. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Black and White 2, uh, I'm actually it's writing about it currently and, and uh, examining it. It's not a bad game by any stretch. It's just, it, it totally gives say? up on the Slowly. super immersive god game that the first game does. And it was just trying to become like a... RTS and yeah, it just didn't, hey, didn't quite work. The quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can. Yeah, and it didn't sell well at all. Sit. Neither did the movies. How they had two uh, really big failures back to back. That's why they basically had to sell it to Microsoft. The problem is you're weak. Okay, so. Give me the wine. No, don't give it to me. All right, I'll give it to him because that's if probably a bad thing. So well. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Hold it. What you bang this in there for? This must be yours. Uh, 
Oh, this game, I don't think it's coming to PC. Maybe, I don't know. Weirdly enough, Fable 1 came to PC like twice. And Fable 3 actually came to PC, but it was game for Windows Live, which is a terrible service. And I, it, it, it sometimes, like, there was something with it. It's actually on Steam, but it's hidden right now. So you have to have the key for it, and some keys don't work. It's really complicated. But yeah, Fable 3 was on, had a PC port. So maybe they'll do a Fable trilogy, but I don't know what they're going to do with that. Alliteration Ultimont. All right, so we've got two more uh, gold pieces to get and two more warrants. Yeah, fair doctor. Yeah, I'm actually I've actually played the creatures uh, creatures one uh, just like a few weeks ago. Actually, yeah, I'm familiar with it. They've not aged well, but they were very interesting for the time. Where'd the bottle go? Is anything over here now? Yeah, there were, uh, weirdly enough, the guy who made creatures, Steve Grand, actually went on to make real robots with real AI. So, yeah, he was a pretty smart dude. Um, I mean, this was the one thing that Fable succeeded at most, and that was the, actually, the intention that Molyneux had uh, was to make RPGs for people who didn't like RPGs, which is kind of brilliant, and it's, you know simplicity but yeah that he wanted to make rpgs accessible and i think he succeeded no way i'm opening up at this all oh, right the dog does have one yeah it's i played this like on launch it's been that long so i don't remember much and i steer like a boat all right where was that dog i saw him not too not too far away but yeah this was a it's not like the most complex thing. It doesn't have like all the stats and stuff like that. And honestly, especially in three, the combat's like super broken. Oh, there he is. Arrow the Stammer Miller. <laughs> nice. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Good boy. Best boy. Rookridge. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I wanted to play a better writing, better storyline, stuff like that, I'd definitely play The Witcher. This game's got its own unique charm to it, though. I actually like the concept behind the combat, where he wanted to make it so you pressed one button in different ways to make different attacks, like charging or tapping or timing your attacks. It just... Honestly, I don't think combat's really ever been good in any of his games. Um, it's probably his weakest point. So I don't know why he keeps on trying to focus on games that have combat in them. Uh, Peter Molyneux, I mean. But, um, yeah, this game wasn't too bad. Just, you know, simple. Going in circles again. Quite a few, uh, snow particles, though. Kind of went for the... Went for went all out on that. Do I have to take another picture or let me post another picture for him? Uh scary. Growl. Sometimes I can't believe we're related. <laughs> I just like the out of context responses they have. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's worked for a lot of devs, unfortunately, in making games that are making products that are not for the audience that it appears to be. I mean, that's that's what a lot of... Uh, I mean, you could argue the Marvel movies are that. They're comic book media for people who don't like comic books. Um, because honestly, if you were to make a Marvel movie that perfectly caters to hardcore comic book uh, fans... That's like what, a, at this point, you know, tens of thousands of people rather than millions. So you're really narrowing your market like a big time. And those movies are expensive, really expensive.
Kick a chickens. I'm glad I was able to compensate for the delay. It doesn't look too bad on screen, hopefully. Except for when I run into things like that. The guy outside his house. Probably missed him. Let me run back there. My magical uh, trail is gone, so I don't know what to do anymore. It's games that really hook you on, like really, really on the nose uh, directions. When they drop those directions, you feel pretty useless. I remember the controls in this game being a little loose as they were because of the turning animation, so this kind of really uh Let me know if you find the warrants. That's the sheriff. That's, that's another guy. So mother doesn't hear. Oh, this guy, okay. What? I didn't hear you. I said your mother is an accursed cow. You say something, Belinda. <laughs> oh, no, it was just a town crier, mother. Okay. I'm sorry, my love. You'll have to be quieter than that. Can you find a happy medium? <laughs> oh, my little dove. Any medium would be happy with you in it. Oh, Monty. I'd give anything to be able to speak I need to have a... at normal volume. And what, my dearest darling, would you say to me? I tell you how I ache for you. You can Ooh. bake me anything you like. No, I said ache for you. Oh, well, you can. A oh, <laughs> oh <it's almost> <laughs> I shall as write a poem poems. about this for my Belinda. <laughs> Did that? It? What was my uh, releasing my bowels? His inspiration for his poem? That's funny. Oh, I hate waiting. Okay, I have to open the door for him. That's really kind of disgusting. I'm sorry, my love, but when you cast your spell over me, I lose my mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Witcher 3 is a little bit of waifu simulator, yeah. Is that true? Yes. I have so much I want to say to you. To it's like a witch waifu you, simulator. Sing to you. Poetry of love that makes my chest nearly burst. All right. None of it Dude. involves sores at all. Dude. I'm really sorry. I don't know where that came from. Dude. Oh. Alright, let me yell at him. <laughs> hey, White Wolf, how's it going? Not too bad. Just been driving myself nuts the last four hours trying to get a uh, streaming system to work and uh, the PS3 to stream and stuff, but I wasn't out, not able to, obviously. But I'm going to try to get Demon Souls to run next week. I think I know what to do now. I just was annoying because they have encryption and a lot of other stuff so what a day all right, all right. it's People annoying that, it's annoying that you can't talk to people you have to either you know <laughs> break wind at them or <sighs> i i'm pretty sure that monty thing isn't done yet oh it's got i've got the trail back now so what's happening over here Uh, yeah, it's been it's been quite a quite a week. Um, looking for a new job. Uh, that's always exciting, but I'm not too worried. I, I think I've got. Okay, it's here. Oh, they just tell you where it is. Okay. Those warrants. <laughs> yeah, it's been interesting. I've been getting some work done. The Nikki, the nickname Chalmers. Okay. Can't be too far from here. Okay, so I should go back to the sheriff. Now. The warrants. We should go back to that guard. Ah, 
<laughs> yeah, it's got a gigantic golden path to your victory, basically. Oh no. Hey, it's my favorite couple of kids. It's basically Bill Sykes here. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want. Oh, that was weird. That's some odd so subtext. Did our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're gonna give. Hey, Liam. How's it going? See? Welcome to the stream. Otherwise, there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble. All and over those warrants. There's a gold piece in it for you. All right, I'm gonna go bad. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy, even though he's kind of a. Uh. A gold's a gold, I guess. Yeah. You want the money right now. Going for the bad, so I might as well, might as well make this place a sums, uh, slums. Basically, one day and a couple of kids can make the entire district go to hell. Before someone else buys the music box. I guess that path's gone now. And we've got four gold coins. We just need four. Is this a conversation still going on? Shh. I think Mother heard us. Yeah, Russell Shaw has basically done every single, um, all but I think one game soundtrack for Bullfrog and Lionhead. He's been, he's like their go-to guy. But um, basically, uh, Peter Molyneux kind of pulled a uh, Hideo Kojima and he wanted to basically legitimize Fable. And so he hired Danny Elfman to do an actual orchestral theme. And Danny Elfman, you know, made the point that a lot of video game composers don't use real orchestra, especially at the time. They kind of make, you know, symphonic orchestra that sounds just about as good. Um, so yeah, he pretty much only did the theme, but yeah, that's really good music in this in this series for sure. What's the matter with you? All right, I'm gonna deliver this letter. This is an elongated tutorial, but. It does affect the city, so it is important, I guess. You can plant that tree and watch it grow. Oh, man. Oh, the acorn that ones. sunk a My million people's expectations. Unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Get that letter yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, letter. I'm actually let her mom get it. going to cover Blood Omen. That's the first <laughs> one, right? The PlayStation one, Blood Omen? Listen to this. Or is it just Legacy of Cain? <laughs> That's the one by. Uh... Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle wing. That's the one by uh, Silicon Knights, right? Forever. Yeah, I'm gonna cover that at some point. That's part of, partly why I got an Xbox again. Want to do a uh, retrospective on Silicon Knights what at some point? Want? <laughs> oh well, why didn't you just say so? I'm gonna go for the Come postage. Nice, that's pretty pretty smooth there, sis. Wait there while yeah, I, I wasn't something about the 3D games. I was never able to get into it. I had the same issue with uh, Metroid Prime. It's changed too much about the game. I didn't like it anymore. I will have to give uh, Soul Reaver and Blood Omen Two a try again, though. I'll have to give Metroid Prime again another choice. I just didn't like it. It wasn't a very good shooter. It wasn't a very good Metroid game, in my opinion. But a lot of people love the Prime games. This is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Whipper snapper. Oh, Monty, my little dove. <laughs> oh, Monty, my dove. I guess some people's wishes do come true. They do have pretty good, great voice acting in these. Though they really sound like everybody has like a lot of character. Right. We're doing all this because some lady wants to hawk us a music box. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. It's an expensive music box. Yeah, I should give it another try. Fortunately, the early 3D games date really badly, but give it a try. Go ahead and 
turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. There's so many great games with great soundtracks. Uh, uh, one one of the my favorite soundtracks were was Assassin's Creed 2, which was uh, God the, the Danish guy. Um, the tip of my tongue. I follow him on Twitter and stuff like that. Really cool guy. He's, he did Hitman as well. I can't I can't think of his name right now, but he's a really uh, really really talented composer. But the uh, um, Ezio's theme in Assassin's Creed 2 is like utterly fantastic. One of the best best tracks in any game, like period, in my opinion. A really, really great uh, composer. Jasper Kid, Jasper Kid, yeah, really, really good composer. Yeah, that's the AC with that's the Assassin's Creed of Venice. Yeah, Pro arguably the last truly like an arguably good one. Hey, John Horn. Odd question. Have you ever read the novel Jurassic Park? I just finished it. Was a little disappointed beside the changes to Gennaro's character. I think the movie was an improvement. Um, I haven't. Uh, I've heard that um, the book gets a lot more into the scientific details. Uh, the movie gives you enough to kind of make the move, the actions plausible. Because without that whole setup and that whole like demonstration, the events would be kind of like silly. Like, how did you resurrect dinosaurs? So I've heard that the book's better in that regard, but I mean, Steven Spielberg in the like 80s and 90s was at his absolute prime and he really, really could put together a solid piece of entertainment. So I make the argument a lot where um, even... I wish. I wish. Okay, let's just react to this, this cutscene here. Magic. Five gold pieces. Um. How was the writer? He he died a few years ago. Um. He also did that terrible uh the book that was based on that that the terrible movie was based on Congo. Did a couple other things. He did the Andromeda Strain as well. This is promise is amazing. That's an amazing song. Yeah, but uh, thanks so much, Sean, for that donation. But yeah, I haven't read it, but I heard that there was some uh, more depth to the the science. He do a lot, like a lot of research for his books. But I heard that I make the argument that pretty much any uh, TV or movie adaptation, even if it's a terrible adaptation, usually improves things like pacing, gets rid of unnecessary slowdowns and stuff like that. Like, like I put this put it this way. How many books have you read that have had like four really, really slow, boring, terrible chapters, but you love the book it, books for some reason you can kind of like, because it's such a long medium and it's less, uh, visual and aggressive. You can like put aside really terrible pacing, but with movies, if you have like two wasted scenes, you're like gouging your eyes out. It's like really weird. You know, it, it's really weird how that works. It's, it's, uh, what are you doing it? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. You have to be a lot tighter with your writing right, in a fur movie. Fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow. Go oh, yeah. I remember 13th Warrior. That was the one with the, the bears and Antonio Banderas, right? That wasn't a great movie, but I, I could see how it could be interesting. Yeah, Michael Crichton. Ooh. All right, to settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucius. Yes, no, particle facts are actually pretty he great. very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Grant became oh, suicidal? Wow. True. That's nothing like the movie. It's all right, doggy. We're going to I mean, Malcolm does become a little bit preachy. He kind of, he kind of is saying how thing, how things could go wrong. And then when he's right, he's like, "I hate being right all the time." That's like his famous line in the movie. Obviously, I don't know how it is in the book. 
But yeah, I, I people mention uh, uh, Dostoevsky as being one of the best writers, not because uh, necessarily his books are the greatest books ever, but he he really fleshes out the world and the and the repercussions for the actions. So he, he shows he kind of like it's almost like an experiment where he shows how certain ideas work or wouldn't work and makes good ar good arguments for and against everything instead of just preaching. So yeah, when, when you have characters basically say, Oh man, this is so terrible, right? We really shouldn't do this kind of thing. You know, it, it, like it kind of breaks your immersion because it's basically the, uh, the author using the characters like an avatar to tell you their message, you know? Yeah. And I mean, uh, from what I hear of his writing, I haven't read his books, but from what I hear and what I've, Evening, James. what I understand, he is, he doesn't just say, this is right, this is wrong. Excellent. He's like, this is, this is what would happen in this Hello, situation. And here are the repercussions, good and bad, you know. Hello, sir. It's a bit more reasonable. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? What don't you like about Lovecraft? Ah, hello, Master Garth. I th I've only read one of his books so far, but I thought it was pretty good. A few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since, since the tragic deaths of... Lady Fairfax and I'd actually make that argument with Dan Brown as well. I heard. I don't think Dan Brown makes good characters. Yes. Or honestly that great of stories, but the settings and the ideas are freaking amazing. Like, he's got awesome ideas. Actually, he takes it just doesn't really write a particularly good vehicle for those ideas. What does he research? And history mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but He's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and oh, now man. we're here. This is like flashbacks to the late 2000s now, where everything had like sure long hallway walks and tons of unskippable dialogue. Lord, <laughs> kind of having flashbacks now. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Yeah, Dan Brown wasn't particularly here impressed. Like, are. there's so many big Lord questions. The children are here. Uh, like, you know, obviously it's famous. Like, how is a, a, a cripple able to, like, overpower and essentially threaten perfectly capable adults? Like, things like that, you know? Some sort of magic box. I ask you. It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up, and we made a wish, and then it started to glow, and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable, though, is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? Not an evil guy at all. In a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I am working to rebuild. Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Not at all a bad idea. I promise it won't hurt you. And sister What's that? disappear. Nothing to worry about. I guess I have to walk over there too. Stand in the circle. Yeah, those particle effects aren't as good. Um. I think this one is arguably, I think most people would say it's the best of the three. You are 
heroes. Heroes? But uh, not as ambitious as the first one, but and not as broken and over underproduced as the third one. What are you? Wait. Something here. Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. Stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! Oh, oh, damn. I forgot about that. I can't allow you to live either. Totes I'm bad sorry. guy. Him, him, thank you, him. Oh, he's totally dead. All right, dogs, licks, heal all wounds. So, he's like Dog Man instead of Catwoman. A dog came and saved him. Yeah, the third one, well, they broke magic, like, big time. I remember magic being a little bit OP in 2, but it was absolutely incredible how effective it was in 3. Um, story was less interesting. It, uh, talking about pacing problems, 3 has some just insane pacing Lucian gems. disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. The boy who lived. The comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new I feel like these animated cutscenes though. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will, a will to change the world and to avenge <laughs> the death that still haunted his every. Thanks for the donation, J Jason. Uh, it's excellent Batman Returns reference. Ah, there <laughs> you are, and your faithful friend too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today. You leave the safety of this camp and seek out... Yeah, I've been waiting to uh, read or listen to Color Out of Space. I think uh, Wayne June is There's working on that right now, back. so I'd, lo I'd like to hear I've his take on it. Inside, but... I was like the uh, music box uh, music in this thing. <laughs> oh man, the different types of experience bubbles and the map and everything. It's all coming back to me. It's been a while in this game. Does that have a deed? But yeah, most things have deeds in this game. That was, this is one of the coolest things about this game. So almost everything has a deed. Or if you have enough money, you can actually uh, buy things out. And then uh, certain things. Uh, okay, so unfurnished. And then you can kill the owner. But it would lower the price of the property. And you can also buy things and rent it out. So you can do all sorts of cool, cool stuff. They did had some amazing ideas for this. I just think that they didn't really have enough experience of actually making a compelling RPG under it, which uh, Peter Molyneux has admitted himself. Do something about those slavers. They're despicable.
Yeah, I, on my uh, trip across uh, state a month or two ago, I uh, listened to Dunwich Horror, which was pretty great. I like that a lot. A friendly villager. What kind of abilities do I have now? Um, friendly. Fun. You make me tingly. Wonder what will happen. Oh, I bet you found this lady. <laughs> make me tingly. Oh, show me now. I can't wait. Heroic pose. Never been worse. Wonderful. He arrived with the chamber. Good stuff. Oh. Trying to steal my woman, are you? Oh God. <laughs> I made that guy mad. Let me let me try it again. I'm making that guy really angry, though. What's his wife? <laughs> oh, that guy's so angry. I'm totally taking <laughs> taking this guy's girl here. All right, let's do it again. You tease. Well, what do you know? Good. Yes. Pretty good. Oh. Thanks. I messed up. I almost got it within there. Trying to steal my woman, are you? I think the kid that was also angry. You can use forty fun. <laughs> Okay, so what, what's our info? I, I'm like halfway to marriage with this girl, and this guy's just getting so angry. <laughs> I think it's just a kid. Straight flirt, raunchy. Oh, she's raunchy. See, this is... It's cool kind of seeing behind the curtains, but this is actually one of the things I did not like about Fable 2 is where they just lay it all out for you and they just, they don't hide any of the mechanics. Like you, you now know exactly what to use on her, what she likes, what she dislikes, and exactly where she's at with you and everything like that. So I, I find this screen, although mechanically sound, it, it kind of ruins a, a bit of the game knowing everything about a person. You get the kids too. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's amazing. I'm going to go on adventure too when I grow up. Is it hot in here? I don't like it just like you. <laughs> it's just you, God. That's right. I mean, if a guy can just like whistle at a woman and take their wife, then then uh, I gotta say it's it's gotta be uh, <laughs> the relationship's already on the rocks. Okay, let's see if I can do another heroic pose. Oh, Keep I'm, I'm, I messed up on that one. All right, I need to target her. No, I need to target her. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, show me let me, now. let me try another one. Oh God, what the? Pretty fine. All right, let me try to do a, a better whistle. Good. There we go. Maybe. I did a yellow at least. Oh man, I, if I work at this, I could probably. Let's see. Um, you always get a good laugh out of Murgo. What's cool is you can actually have multiple uh, spouses in different areas and have multiple families and move them into different houses. But if they meet each other, they'll get really mad. I probably need to get more uh, need to get more moves here, but maybe I'll just do another another pose and try to get yellow. Oh, marvelous! Pretty good. Keep practicing. That's pretty good. Good. Oh, we're close. Uh. 
do another whistle. That gets the girls wild. Oh, got a green. Nice. Got a green. Oh, so close. Come on. Just one more. All right, I'll do a heroic pose. Let's try this. Nice, another green. Oh, she's close. I'm going to try to pick up line here. <laughs> the interaction is so simple in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, another hog pose to set her off. Alright, she's really, she's like right on the edge here. One more, I think. Alright, another pickup line should do it. I can say, I like that a lot. You're loved by enough people to be Albion's dumpling. <laughs> this title is now free for from all town criers. Mm, you're really quite Oh my god, I actually got three women. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Uh I don't have any gifts, though. I'll have to come back when I've got a gift. I figured that was a successful day. Hero, Hero moves in, steals your wives. <laughs> it's a good game. It's not the deepest uh, or, you know, craziest game ever, but I had a lot of fun with that back in the day. Doge. Kick the chickens. chest here. We'll have some basic items. Rusty long sword. Yeah, your three basics. I always had yeah, melee, ranged, and magic. I'm noticing so many uh Sound effects from black and white now. They really do have their sound collection, don't they? Rough, rough. What, that little girl tried flirting with me? Oh, no. Now the woman's following me around. Rusty fish hook. Dog elixir. What was that about? Use the call in your inventory to put on your dog. This allows you to rename him to any at any time you want. What should we call this guy? Doggo pupper. Cerberus. What's a good dog name? Marmaduke. Oh, God. Um, couldn't stand the Marmaduke comics when they're growing up. Uh, let's see. Oh, Dog Me. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah, Dog Me. Uh, since I'm a... Uh, Known for my Fallout video, I should do that. <laughs> Even this is delayed. But I've done this so many times, I'm already kind of used to the delay. Dog meat. Okay, cool. Dog meat, your faithful companion. Yay. So I need to buy a wedding ring because this, this villager is already like all over me. I don't know if the, the hearts go down after a while. They probably will, but I'll be back.
made sure to install this game so it ran faster. I should have actually just set up my Xbox One in here to uh, emulate these games because the backwards compatibility is pretty good. Open the gate. Neat dog. <laughs> good luck. Um, or slow walking. Take this. Tomb seal. Huh? It is a powerful artifact. The kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It's a little pretty it good. Also pretty uh, game, though. When necessary. Now, look down towards... The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger. Much stronger. Yeah, bright, colorful... Uh... Yeah, totally different from the other games at the time. Games were getting really brown and gritty at the time. Yeah, a long time ago. I mean, I played this on launch. Oh, dig. Dig, dig. Man, what was this, like, 09 or something like that? 010? I don't remember when this was. Oh, the herbal ball. Nice. She's still following me. Oops. Uh, Affected my purity. Probably not bad enough to really look different. Not really. Oh yeah, God rays. From this game, I had pretty good God rays. Where's this dog? Uh, good dog. Yeah, they really push the dog as a feature in this game. It's pretty cute, but a little overhyped. Actually, some pretty famous actors in these games. I forgot who played Reaper. There was a couple other pretty, uh, pretty famous actresses and actors. All right, the idea of being able to jump over fences in this one, right? Yeah, because like half of the world is blocked off with fences in the first one. First game did have its moments, though, definitely. What was supposed to be Fable was actually, like, really, really amazing. It was so, so, uh, ambitious. Ah, is this a thespian appearing in our midst? Someone who has experienced life who can compliment my words with a worthy performance? Okay, so I probably have, finest tragedian. probably have to do a, uh, some sort of dance or something. Plays, and I am now putting the finishing touches on my crowning masterwork. Perhaps you could assist me. Splendid, splendid. All you have to do is accompany each of my lines with an appropriate expression. Just let the power of my imagery guide you. Rupert was perambulating down the street with his friend when... He burst out laughing. Yeah, I think this is uh I'm afraid my artistry far It doesn't have the annoyances that Fable 3 had, I don't think. Skills. This one is probably my favorite of the three. But it did lose a couple things from Fable 1. And come back when you are ready for such a demanding role. Okay, I don't know. She's still following me around. I don't have a ring. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd imagine if a guy could just like whistle and, and say a couple one-liners and steal your girl like that. This is this does have uh, backwards compatibility. So if you do have an Xbox One, you can play this. I wish they'd release it on a PC. It would be really nice to run this in 60 frames for sure.
All right, you can run. Okay. Run pretty fast, actually. This is a pretty chill, pretty chill game. I remember. Random enemy pop-ups aside. All right, how did you? Uh, how do you uh, aim with this thing? You just. I think you just. Uh, I think you just kept on pressing Y, didn't you? Remember right. I think I went ranged pretty much the first my first playthrough. Found those rapid fire guns to be pretty pretty uh BA. Oh turning. Okay. Oh, there's some circles. So that looks like it's almost like crosshairs. Yeah, maybe they'll release the trilogy. They have individually released the first one. You can play the first one on Steam, two different versions of it. There's the original, which some people argue is better. Then there's the remastered one, which looks more modern. But uh, some people prefer the original better. Oh. Can you vault over every edge? No, not quite. Yeah, they kind of changed some of the character designs in the remastered version of Fable 1. Um, and the UI is definitely more console-centric. So, yeah. Oh, right. Birds. Down the weapon while facing your opponent to the node. Turn to save the node. Oh, okay. Wow. Dog boy a big splash. Um, yeah, you could dive, couldn't you? <laughs> Boyds. Table three is on PC, but it's hard to get nowadays. It's uh, it's on Steam, but I don't think you can buy it on Steam. You have to have a code for it. A lot of games are like that. I've been told you can still actually download Hellgate off of the EA servers, but you can't uh, buy it anymore. You haven't been able to for years. Kind of weird. It's like they're obligated to give you the download, but they don't want to sell it anymore. I guess since they just did shut down the servers and stuff like that for the game, they... They consider it kind of like a non a non product. Which I could I could respect that I guess, but still. All right, it just wants me to go out in the middle of the water now. I guess I should do that since it'll bug me about it. Right? Didn't they have options for that with the directions? I vaguely recall. Okay, brightness. Let me turn down the brightness. You can turn Golden Trail off. Um, yeah. Oh, can you get a uh, Microsoft Game Store, or is that just for the Xbox? I'm trying to blur that line, but you can't play some of these games on PC, so I wish they wouldn't. Like, if you could play everything on PC, that'd be awesome. I wouldn't mind them blurring the line between Xbox and PC, but... That's like them putting a bunch of mobile games on, on the Microsoft Store. It's like, no, would you, could you please not? <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to more games going exclusive. I, I wish... I wish that wasn't so. I thought that was a good thing about PC is that we pretty much had one or two really good platforms. I mean, competition is always good. I'll never argue against it. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break oh, doge. Fall. doge. Come here. Uh, but yeah, it's 
a lot of games like I think Destiny Two is only on going to be on Epic Games Launcher. Which I need to come up with a better name for that. That's a terrible name. Um, and uh, there's some other. Yeah, I mean Bethesda now is only going Bethesda, which you know is probably for the best. But yeah, it's a lot of a lot of breaking up and segregating, which is annoying because. Uh, yeah, I mean, PC doesn't need that at this point. PC just needs a lot of people adopting the PC platform and a lot of games being sold. We do not need exclusives at this point. Sorry, I meant Division 2. If I said Destiny 2, I meant Division 2. Oh no, giant beetles. It's basically a win button. But considering I'm suffering from like a half second delay, I'll take the win button. All right, uh, sucking all that beautiful, beautiful Beautiful uh, experience. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Yeah. yeah I remember those days. We still have a couple of PC exclusives. PC is a lot easier to iterate on, um, especially for uh, games that are being developed. It's so much easier to do like Steam early access and, and evolve a game and get it perfected before you it to console sometimes you have to spend like something like ten twenty thousand dollars to get a game verified on console so indie devs that's like way too many sales to make it worth it to make a patch or anything cool this is really babby's first rpg but it's still fun the geometry's seen better days but Yeah, Steam is definitely getting some their uh, competition handed to them in rapid order. I mean, games are going to Epic, games are going elsewhere. We'll have to shoot the switch to go any further. It's been uh, it's been something. Oh, you find something? Where'd you find dog? He's just lying, isn't he? No, he didn't find anything. Uh, but yeah, Steam's gonna have to do something. And I think they have a somewhat, uh, somewhat flexible uh, cut now. For if you make a more than a certain amount, they'll they'll give you a better rate. But I mean, that's a little too little too late. I think at this point they need to actually kind of really make some big decisions to attract more people. I mean, they definitely have a more active base than Epic Games Launcher. Epic Games Launcher is technically being used by more people because Fortnite's just ridiculous right now, but um, I think they still have a better, a bigger active base like for new new games other than Fortnite. And Epic Games Launcher is still in its infancy. Like, it has like a referral mode, which is literally just for Fortnite. Like, they've got a lot of like really... They've not thought it through as a as a complete platform yet. They're still kind of working things out. So this would be the time for Steam to really kind of, you know, take it to them before they lose everything. Okay, I got a mace now, I guess. Nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, they, they need to, Valve needs to kind of wake up and realize what's happening because they may have been getting, you know, basically free money for all this time, but they will need to watch out or else they could lose that pretty quickly, it seems. I think they lowered it down to like 20, 25 for 
if you sell over a million or something like that but i mean that's only going to be affecting the really big triple a guys Yeah, it definitely has that kind of clunky Ocarina of Time combat, especially when I'm <laughs> running out of delay and I, <laughs> I look like a drunken person. I have that kind of Dark Souls glow too. Pretty good water effects all in all, though. I think that was a hint, though. I think there is something out there that off of the beaten trail. What is it, boy? A dollar? A dollar in the ditch? Where does some particles run at a lower frame rate, though? Kind of curious. Brendan's diary. Appears to be a page from the Explorer's diary recording the details of an expedition into this cave. Third day, my hand is shaking from exhaustion, but I must remain vigilant. I almost nodded off last night as we camped around the fire, but still managed to keep an eye on Eric and Drake. I've seen the greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to make treasure, make the treasure there. Perhaps it's time to make use of the poison. That seems bad. It's not very cash money of you, guy. Yeah, Ocarina of Time is a perfect example of a game that was absolutely lauded and... and worshipped on release and has aged very badly pretty much everything about that game has been improved in future games like in a big way um even the things that was praised for at the time so it unfortunately does not hold up as well as it as it would even though it was extraordinarily successful beloved and uh influential at the time I mean, it makes sense. It was a jumping to 3D. It was definitely difficult. Oh, I'm already pretty low. Is that my full health? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, I, I heal up from all that. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Got these green orbs. I think that's generic experience, right? Yeah, there's magic, which is red. Uh... Range is yellow, blue is is melee. And then um wait, am I going? Is it select? That goes into Where's the um Oh I don't have abilities yet. Okay, it's not that's locked. Yeah, in a lot of ways the uh Majora's Mask has kind of become it's a pretty interesting story. I'd like to dig into it more. Um, it was basically one guy's attempt at making Zelda better. He, this one guy basically did a vast majority of what became Majora's Mask. I'm old enough to remember when it was being called uh, Zelda Gaiden. That was the working title for a while. Um, I gotta say, I wasn't, I didn't love it at the time, but over. As I've learned some of the unique things it's done, I respect it a lot more. And it was a lot more, I tried to do something unique, even though it was basically a lot of asset flips and things like that from the first game. Oh, that's probably death down there. Yeah, I shouldn't go down there. Maybe I'll stream that sometime. That'd be kind of cool. I do like how they had the time mechanic and how you could actually die and fail. And that was pretty pretty risky at the time a lot of those early zeldas actually try to do pretty cool things like there's that uh zelda's awakening or something like that or zelda Link's awakening i think it was or it was a game boy game which almost was like groundhog day 
pick up and restart on the same day. Oh man, I really want to play 50 Cent in the club right now, but I can't. <laughs> Did you see something, doggo? If I if I get my gun, I'm basically just a Fallout character with the with dog meat and everything. <laughs> Speaking of Fallout, I got a, uh, a VR set a few, like a week or two ago, and I was actually um, playing uh, Fallout 4 VR, which it's one of my, oh, press the button and do the thing. Got to turn it into real world commitments. Thanks for a great stream. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks so much for the donations and uh, have a... Good rest of the week. I hope to see you next week, man. Thanks, Jason. Gotta shoot. Gotta hit. Gotta shoot. Okay. Puzzles. <laughs> when are you going to stream the City Sun games? Oh, man. Was it Blood in the Sand or something like that? Uh, those, those, were, those were games. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that's on my agenda right just yet, but I mean, I, I totally could, I think. Anything like PS2 and below, I would like emulate. Anything above that, I'd have to actually get the real console set up. But now that I have this new stream set up, it's a lot easier than it would be. I just plug it into the HDMI cable and I'm good. Oh, I did two of them. I forgot about that. Treasure. What about that treasure, huh? Now, that would actually be a lot more clever if your dog kind of led you the way. They kind of almost were redundant having the dog kind of point out things and the uh, the breadcrumbs. If your dog kind of sniffed out, you know, a direction of something nearby, that'd actually be kind of more clever, I think. Let's just dig here as well. I think I'm good, dog. Yeah, this was definitely not a complex game in terms of combat. I remember having to lock on and do stuff like that. The combat is not necessarily deep or great. It's probably the weaker part of the game. The world was pretty engaging, though, and being able to, like, invest in it and take over, you know, take over a little stand here, invest some money, be able to buy, you know, an inn and make money off of that. The whole world being kind of accessible like that was pretty damn cool, I think. A lot of books that I'm not going to read right now. Sorry, everyone. More treasure. Definitely an ocarina of time like a box opening animation for sure. Amethyst. Nice. Probably I'll sell that. Probably shouldn't marry the gypsy woman, even though I just thought it was funny to be able to take this guy's wives so easily in like five minutes. All right. I'm try to run. I'm going to run into a lot of walls, I'm sure. Ooh. I made a turn too early then. That's GTFO, everyone. Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. For centuries, this academy trained hmm. the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. I have looked at Kenshi. Worshipped by the people of Albion, the great. I'm not completely sold by it, but it looks interesting. Hated. No man alive today remembers the night the I guild burned. I didn't know that they used that as a tagline, though. That's pretty cool. But the pretty big world, huh? You are here. 
and that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around and be warm. Your blood is awakening. <laughs> Very excitable. You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Oh, not yet until she's done saying it, I guess. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of... I'd have to look into Kenshi and learn how to play it before I'd stream something like that or play it, but yeah, it seems interesting for sure. Gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use Will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you Will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. Yeah, they definitely pull kind of a Skyrim in this game where they, uh, before Skyrim was even a thing where they make you, you give you everything and you can just specialize a little bit more into certain things. But, um, yeah, it's, Look within yourself and ex they wanted to give now you all of that and they didn't want to waste so a bunch of like waste on time on abilities that not everybody would use. But I think that's what kind of makes RPGs. Interesting, honestly. So I'm supposed to be able to buy a will. Yeah, they gave me a ton of will just for nothing. Um, Shock Inferno. Time control allows you to slow the world around you or to move with it. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. <laughs> okay, so I've got a total of 593. Vortex. Vortex creates a powerful windstorm that will pummel your enemies with nearby debris or even other enemies. Chaos confuses your foes, making them unpredictable. Oh, I really don't want Raise Dead, but I probably need. Uh, raise Dead causes the bones of the recently deceased need to Need some rise sort of attack ability. I'll just get fire for now. Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. Blades is actually pretty cool. Do I have enough of that? Yeah, let's do that. No, unless I want to do something cheaper. I'll do Inferno. Okay, so now back up to skill. Can I do skill? Dexter Styles. Dexter Styles unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. The greater your accuracy, the more damage you will inflict. Dexter styles unlock special moves for ranged. Brutal styles unlock special moves for you. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will. Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. Blocking, oh God. I don't know if I can actually do blocking <laughs> any time. A hero is able to Timing right now. Um, falling in battle. Uh, I would like to do one of these, but I don't know if I have enough. Dexter Styles unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. Do roll. I'll probably wait on these. All right, let's do our. There we go. Well done. Now you are ready this. to begin your journey. Use the colors gate. Aww. Fable2.com. Womp, womp, womp. I doubt it's even up anymore. Probably, usually they, if they keep the domain name, they'll just link it to some other site. Probably EA or something. This is a pretty game, though. I do like this game. It's got a lot of charm. It makes up with charm and, and certain... Levels of interactivity and and Use detail. Found abilities to defeat them. Uh, with actual depth. A little bit late to tell me to have Those to collect auras manually now. The knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. What's that? 
Oh, it goes up to my abilities. I don't really want roll. I'd rather do accuracy at this point because I probably won't have the the agility to do rolling it just yet, just down. I'm glad we're seeing some really interesting uh, pro projects like the Ken Kenshi and other games like that, though. I think that's really cool that we're seeing a lot of variety in that. It's got really stale toward the late, right around this time, actually. It got really stale as far as the kind of games we got. We got, like, you know, shooters and, you know, very bare bones RPGs. For the most part from the AAA industry. Oh. What's up, dog? Treasure? Treasure in the ditch? What's up, Lassie? Alright, what are you talking about? My dog's confused. Really? Is it right there? The dog is very confused. <laughs> Timmy's dropping some question. I'm glad somebody got that reference. What's up, boy? Uh, there's something in the water. He's adamant about that, but I don't know what else. I like treasure. I like money. Over here, we already found a uh, kind of whirlpool in this area before, so I don't know if there's another one just yet. Come on, dog. Am I stuck? Oh, it's been night for a long time now. You get that beautiful, beautiful uh, artifacting from YouTube, I'm sure, <laughs> with all this dim color. I like games that actually make it really dark. Oh. I want to hunt rabbits. Okay. I have to uh, turn off. There we go. <laughs> you just get evil just for killing rabbits. Like, <laughs> okay, that's one way to do it. Yeah, the glowing path is optional. I could turn it off if I want to. I think there's a map if I remember right. It's not great. I remember the map being kind of bad. Is there a way to actually... Oh, there we go. So I need to travel, okay. To Bower Stone. Because I can't fast travel yet. <laughs> Who'd want to fight Ken Noonien Singh or Bull from Night Court? <laughs> Ken Noonien Singh. I'm not sure who that is, but Bull from Night Court is a huge dude. So I'm going to say Bull from Night Court because, I mean, he's a huge, huge, big, bald dude. And he's, he's probably, he's probably seen some rough things. Probably like, you know, grabbed a few, uh, uh, you know, bad defendants who like got all uppity. So yeah, I'd say I'd say he's a pretty good shot. Yeah, you can you can increase the brightness of the glowing trail or lower it. Dog tricks, the bunny hop. 
Oh, cool. Okay. So now, uh, I could probably, so, strike a heroic pose. You didn't do the bunny pop. <laughs> Unlikely to fall in love with you. Uh, oh, more rabbits. Get them. Oh, God. That's a lot of uh, evil just to kill a rabbit. I mean, there's plenty of non-evil reasons to kill a rabbit. This is programmed by vegans. Not really wanting to dive just yet. Oh, it's Khan? Um, ooh, yeah. I didn't know I didn't know his full name. Um <laughs> That's a lot of evil, exactly. Uh Khan was more of a uh a talker and an influencer though. Bull had to actually be like, you know, the strong guy. So I'll i I'll still I'll remain by my, my decision. I think Bull from Night Court's got the upper hand. Oh, even birds? Come back here, bird. Uh-oh. I heard something popping out of the woodwork. Are there more birds? Here, birdie birds. I've come in peace. <laughs> Most games are made for vegans these days. Uh, could be. A lot of games are made by Californians, so that's probably why you see a big overlap. Those guys used to scare me to death when I'd hear them, especially with headphones. I think the sound effect was just always a little bit too too uh too loud. Nice little swim here. It's probably, oh there yeah, there's treasure here. Ooh, give me that treasure. Vegan scare me to death. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, oh my god, you don't eat meat? Are you even human? Uh, okay. Gold, sure. I like money. Are there a lot of vegans in UK? I, I wasn't aware of that. I mean, there's plenty of ham steak and stuff like that, so I can't... Meat pies and stuff, so I can't think it's slightly vegans, but, I mean, maybe there's more. Yeah, this would be cool. It'd be great for a PC release. What's always surprising with these games is how good they look with modern resolutions and hardware. Like, I can tell a lot of these textures are actually... Well, that texture's not that great, but... Um, some of these textures are actually pretty pretty solid, and with a little bit of treatment, they this game would look pretty damn good. Resolution being a big limiter in the frame rate, obviously. Almost seem to be getting, like, a little bit of ghosting as well. It's very weird. Oh, vegan sausage rolls? Okay. Yeah, I mean... I should turn that. I should probably turn that off. Yeah. Uh, Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. Okay, so I'm afraid that as sounds like a quest. Hag is alive. The road stays closed. Oh damn! Almost seven a.m. Sorry, guys. Light, Sorry, a little bit late today, but I mean, it seems like we're just in a very different time zone. So. The road to Bowerstone is closed. It Guess would seem the Bowerstone has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger oh, to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Go to Thag's camp. The thing is, the map is so bad in this game that you kind of have to use the, uh, the breadcrumbs unless you just want to get lost constantly. 
so I'm streaming, so I'll keep it on a, on a dim, but yeah, I mean, if I really wanted to be a bit more boisterous and adventurous, I'd probably turn it off, but yeah, it's... The problem with these kind of games, this is actually a problem with the industry, they have all these, like, quest markers and maps and fast travel and all these, like, crutches to help you get to where you're going, that when they take it take that stuff away, there isn't, like, actual well-designed worlds that are intuitive in themselves. I mean, a couple of games will surprise you. Um, Elder Scrolls games are actually kind of good that way. They actually have signs you can look at that, that say names and stuff, but Morrowind was particularly good with that because you actually had to read the signs and follow directions. But um, yeah, because there's all that, those crutches, they kind of forget to make the game world Keep your navigatable in itself. Maybe a trap. Yeah, we, uh, somebody said it was the same voice actress. It's Gray from Kotor. Some of these sound effects are pretty, uh, beefy. Out with you, bandits. Look out! It's an ambush! It's an ambush? Ah, does one good to be... <laughs> Nice one. I'm a little bit closer. Boss battle. No one defies that. <laughs> Kicks your dog. I'll gut you myself. I'll give you three seconds to get ready. No way. Two. Oh, sorry. Get that dirty bandit. Oh. Should probably get that uh that ability to dodge now that I think about it. It'd probably be useful at this point. So I can get that now. No, I can't. I can get speed. Yeah, I'll get dodge. Dexter styles, yeah. Yeah, that'll be useful. Strunk. Can I get anything from Strunk? Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. A tougher hero is able to withstand more damage before falling. Brutal styles unlock special moves. For yeah, I agree. Uh, Fable 2 is a good medium between 1 and 3. There's certain things I like about 1. It's a bit more uh, opaque with its mechanics. It doesn't kind of give you everything like Fable 2 does. But if I would recommend one of the series, I'd, uh, a single game of the series, I'd say 2 probably. That's my favorite of the three. Still dodging, even though it's, uh, they have such a long tail. 
Won't be able to do this with Dark Souls, though. I'm gonna need real time for Dark Souls. You are now famous enough to use the uh, hopefully I have some food and, and healing. Yeah, Fireball seems to be pretty good. I am just trying to get some more... Uh, I'm trying to go range. Range well is my, kind of my favorite. I will tell the gods of Thag's death. But uh, the, the more types of thing attacks you do, the the type of experience you get. So if you use primarily magic, you'll uh, oh. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. Oh, hurdy dog. Oh, hurdy dog. Oh, I gotta teach them the, the bunny hop. Oh, come here, pretty dog. Oh, he's limping. God. All right, dog, come here. I just want to play right now. I'm gonna band-aid him. Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. All right, I got to give him uh, healing. There we go. So there's something you can do with these guys. I think you can sell them as slaves or something. So let me do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, dodge roll. I, I played a little bit of... I got it on the PS4, unfortunately. I should have gotten on P waited for PC because I barely played it. But uh, I do want to try it out again sometime, the Monster Hunter. I've never really been a huge Monster Hunter fan, but this one I probably like the best out of them. It's pretty good. Grubby Journal. Oh, is this my house now? Or is it a house? Oh, there's more gold up there. One gold. Um, but, you know, I played a lot of the Dark Souls games and stuff like that, and uh, play. Yeah, I just Oi, I'm kind of a dodge roll fiend Don't for the most part. Think about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me, and I'll make it worth your while. No, don't listen to him. <laughs> Shut up. You wouldn't do that to us, would you, Sparrow? Yes, I would. <laughs> I said shut it. I'm not going to tell you again. Nice doing business with you. There's like a slave request in uh, Fallout 2, I believe, you isn't there? You're mine now. Nah. You fuck. <laughs> A few corners change hands, and a few honest folk are condemned to years of misery. Is your heart so hard? Perhaps you will destroy Lucian for the wrong reason. I suppose it will have to do. Yeah, it is always a little bit weird trying to craft a narrative that regardless of how good or evil you are, you still have to kill the bad guy. And they solved that in this game by creating a personal reason. So even if you were a terrible person, he straight up murdered your sister and tried to kill you. So there's a personal reason to go after him. But I mean, at the same time, if you were that evil, like, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's enough of reason. It isn't too bad. I need to give Kingdoms of Amalur another shot. Oh, treasure. Something with the bloom or the, the ghosting is like getting to me right now. But oh, there we go. God forbid having any of the treasure hidden. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, playful dog. I can set up camp? What's that about? Oh, food. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that's probably an item. It's used as the, my most accessible food and item. Food item, I guess. Uh, 
yeah, that's usually the way. It's like I want to destroy the world. So it's like whether you're good or bad, you kind of wanted to end it either way. It would be kind of cool though, like if there are actually different paths, major paths you could take depending on your character. But obviously, it require multiple you know, branching paths and all that other stuff. I have gifts now. What are my gifts? Economy, value, necklace, and amethyst. Oh, I'm out of food down. Rubber ball. Cool. I do like the assassin's clothes. There's one thing that was kind of weird about these games is that I think that the clothing didn't have any stat bonuses or something like that, or if it's just impressiveness. Like there was no really, uh, no really um like uh combat benefits to armor that was kind of odd those actual shrooms or just decorations oh well, those are just decorations now that i'm appropriately uh dressed and sith like bower stone should be open now or whatever it is called. Um, I played. I've played a bit of. Apparently, uh, someone killed off that bandit leader, so it's safe now. Yeah, somebody I'd did. I'd like to shake the hand of the bloke who did it. Not flirty. Um. Um, yeah, I played a little bit of it. It's, I think it's a pretty good intro and in a lot of ways kind of mimics what Oblivion is trying to do, where it kind of demonstrates each type of play style pretty well before you dive to the side. Um, otherwise it's, it kind of removes, it kind of focuses a bit too much on the action over the, uh, the RPG experience for me. And I, and I think that kind of is just to its detriment, like and that's the song I'm working like in a lot of ways i'd probably rather play if i wanted that kind of action rpg or action adventure i'd probably rather play like darksiders style gameplay where it's more just a straight up like zelda type game but i with the rpg elements i kind of feel like i want more a little bit and here we have the local oh he's a tour guide Usually it runs a fast service to yeah, that's a good point. I mean, the company has gone through like legal trouble and stuff like that. I, I think it was like a baseball player who founded it, and there was some financial legal issues. I think Rhode Island partially funded it. It's it's a whole story I'd like to probably cover sometime. But um, it was designed by Ken Ralston of uh, you know Morwind and Oblivion fame. So I mean, it has some pretty pretty good talent behind it um but and uh, the artist todd mcfarlane i think um did like some of the art design and whatnot so it had it had a lot of uh crit shilling i think it was writer or whatever but um uh ken ralston was i think lead designer i believe yeah yeah i think it was todd mcfarlane who did the art um he also did art i believe for darksiders as well um has that kind of look as well but uh what was i gonna say but yeah it was it was kind of in the awkward middle where it was kind of an, kind of just an action rp action rpg or action adventure game and kind of an rpg but not enough of either and so i think it kind of suffered because of that didn't commit Almost everything you can buy in Bowerstone gets here by boat. Come on, dog, show me the treasure. Show me the money. Myself. Plenty of dodgy folk about, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Salvatore did that. It's it's hard to say. Sometimes a really good book writer will make a huge difference for a game. Other times it's actually not that big of a deal. Like supposedly Orson Scott Card wrote uh Shadow Complex. I'm like, that game had like no story. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit iffy in terms of that, you know. 
Oh, yeah, attenuate will potion. Enough to repel vicious dragon squirrels, huh? All right. Hey, games change so much that like even 10 years seems like a lifetime. You know, this was about 10 years ago, I think. I don't remember the exact year, but I mean, this seems like a, an aeons ago, you know, like the amount of change and the amount of industry, uh, industry wide trends that have happened since then. I mean, this is a much simpler time. Pretty much got a whole game and it's on its own. I think there might've been a couple of pay DLCs, but this was still back when like online was completely optional for consoles. So they didn't completely gut the initial release. I mean, this is a fully functional game online or no at release. Like this is totally different from games are now. I should say that. All right. I think the produce sec one was like the first one I bought the first time I played. It's still like two grand, so I'm not even close, but that would be a good one. Something like this would be a good one to buy as an early investment. You get uh, cash from it every uh, few uh, few minutes or whatever. And one time I, I, when I was saving for my castle, which is like a million gold or whatever, I would just like left the game on and I just like slept, slept for a couple of hours. <laughs> I woke up very disoriented with a, a game that auto shut off. It was kind of weird. I think that the produce is probably one of the cheapest. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith. Has All right, I forgot about the jobs and stuff. Sales, huh? Stonecutter sale. Oh, so there's a sale on stone, I guess. I wonder what that's for. Blacksmith. Oh, yeah. Jobs. I could do that. Job, that'd be kind of cool. And here... Is the town square the very heart I forgot about jobs. I guess you just do a little bit of work and then you get some gold for it, I think. Instructions. Oh, God. I guess I'm going to compensate for timing here. Oh, fuck. I managed to get that somehow. <laughs> this is going to be torture. For those that don't know, I'm I'm watching from a delay, like a half second delay. Uh, so I'm doing okay, but this is additionally uh, difficult for me. I have to basically uh, press the button before I see it. Nice bit of forging. Nope. Sail, sail. Oh, the multiplier. Crap. From the looks of you, I'd recommend a whole new wardrobe. Get that one. A good strike. Oh no. I ruined my multiplier. Probably incredibly boring to watch, but I need the money. Nice yeah, it hit the timing, and the and the longer you take, the the range gets narrower. So I should probably do it the first first try, and then the more of the multiplier you get, you get a gold multiplier. So the the next item you make is even more more money for it. Crap. Try to hit the blade. Oh, 
was spending like hours doing this, I swear. No better shopping at all Bower Stone. It's shaping up nicely. I'd like to get it promoted. If you get promoted, you make more money per item. Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm really, really messing this up now. A good blow. Take your time. No, I'm good at blows. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, they made a mini game. It doesn't make sense that timing would be an issue with this, but at least they didn't do a button masher. That would have been probably a lot worse. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that Cinnamon 4D was a Cinnamon 4D reference either. Uh oh. Steel weapons are a I used Cinema 4D for a bit. The modern hero uses guns. A perfect hammer blow. Put my way back. No. This is much harder than it looks with the delay. Uh. Nice hit. want to get the promotion guns, guns, guns. That's one oh guns I want guns play. rip rip You can actually get a good multiplier up. You can actually get quite a few uh, gold from this. Keep but it I'm like that. playing at a severe handicap right now. As long as the economy stays as I have returned. Meet me by the clock tower in the main square. Oh. No. Your tele your telepathy distracted me, woman. Okay, two more pieces and I'll get a promotion. You're doing a good job. Get this one perfect, maybe. Oh no. Alright. Now if I get this one perfect, I'll be able to get uh eight gold from it, I think. Damn it. All for naught. You know how to use a hammer. Like next level job. All right, what's the next level job? I'm a level two blacksmith. What am I crafting now? Yeah, I never got to the point where I was able to do blacksmithing and stuff. I wanted to do in Kingdom Come. I was getting crashing and stuff. I'll have to try it again. It's a great game. I just stability was getting a little old. Don't you know how to use a hammer? Come on. It's getting harder and harder. Damn it. I uh, can't get it that first try. It's too fast. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I might not be able to do this. It's the blade, mini not the anvil. Be really quick. Nice bit of forging. Too slow. I couldn't get that one even if I tried. A good strike. You 
you'll never make a blacksmith doing that. I'm getting a bit more money though. Yeah, that's enough of that though. If you go to Rookridge, so I guess I have to talk to Teresa. Then I could probably do a couple more things after that. You. Anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting. I know it's a little bit off the cuff and uh, not what we normally do, but I thought it was a bit, it was, you know, definitely was a mainstream game at the time, but it's a bit older, a bit more obscure now, so I thought it would be kind of befitting my channel cover and play today. All right. Teresa, Teresa, Teresa. She's right there. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. It is now Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Fag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none, because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Your enthusiasm will have its uses, <laughs> but mind it does not consume you. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. Her voice reminds me of, uh... It has changed much since you lived here. Particularly Old Town. Judy Dench a little bit. your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Look. That is where Lucian is now. The tattered spire. Uh. Oh, that seems bad. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world. Granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Seems bad. Lucian found a document. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. This is a big bad, big bad weapon. And the thief before Lucian does. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. Now I'm wondering, I don't remember how it works, but I know you can kill the owner of a property to take his property. Ten grand. That's pretty nice. So if you kill the owner, I think it lowers the price. But Jim the crate carrier. <laughs> I'm curious at how much how much it actually does. I remember it doesn't make it free, but it drastically lowers the price. Can I break in? I don't remember if I could break in or not. It's been a while since I played this game. Alright, you sleeping in here, bro? 
Time to lower some property value. Where are you? Wait, is there anybody you've actually even here? Is there anything in here? Okay, some perfume. I could probably woo some some uh, fine uh, ladies with that one. What about here? Toy horse. That's probably a gift for somebody. Rusty necklace. Not the greatest, but... Is anybody in, actually in here? Maybe he's not back from work yet. Oh, chocolate. That's a good one. Keep on saying... Yeah, I guess the highlight does go away. Yeah, you can't steal. You can actually sleep in the beds. Uh, which... You'll get arrested for. Anything else to rob? Nothing to see here, folks. Just your average, everyday uh, <laughs> robbery. More chocolate. Money bag. Something in the dresser here. Hollow Man flesh pie. So steely. Very steel. Nice little plant. Be a shame if somebody broke it. No. Nope. Oh, really? You can't bash up the place? That's too bad. Oh, I could steal something from the from the uh, kettle here. Expired celery. You getting kind of thin. Right, you can just like consume hundreds of celery to be, and you'll instantly become thin. Thin It's like the greatest diet ever invented. <laughs> Remember that was a thing in this game. Okay, is it open? It's like a magic door. Is there somebody sleeping up there? I didn't notice anybody in the beds. Come on. No, the beds are empty. Right? Uh, not much to do in his place, and I can't even find the owner, so. Wonder where he's, wonder why he's away. If I found the owner, I was going to try to kill him. I, I think I'm hearing neighbors snore. Let's check out the neighbor's house. Honestly, Talk not. To the abbot in Oakfield. <laughs> She's like, never mind you uh, being a, a murderous. <laughs> Daddy's home. All right. Anybody in here? I heard some snoring. Yes. No. No. Who is snoring in here? I don't hear. It must be next next door. Okay. Uh oh. Is that morning morning time? Probably. Quick steal and then head out of here. Hopefully, hopefully that's not the guard bells and it's just the morning bells. Oh, it's the guard bells. Oh crap! Uh, I I accidentally pressed A. No, I don't want to do that. It was delayed. I pressed A. Oh, how do I load? I can't load. Can I? So I lost money. Oh, you 
Chief, thank you very much. There must be All right. a bridge you can jump off. Make sure you tie a rock to your leg. Oi, you! You're under arrest! I choose broken. I just choose the Tell us about this stuff at guard school. <laughs> Are you badly wounded? You're nothing but a street rat. Oops, street rat. There's, there's the name calling. Rip. Rip. Oh, that's your game, is it? Well, that's one way to get evil. <laughs> Okay, I probably had to restart from loading or something. Uh, come on. Looks like my uh my stream chat kind of broke. Uh, that's annoying when that da when that happens. Oh well. Yeah, I wonder if I can reload. I don't really want to save after that. Let's see. I was just gonna try out the um see if I could actually kill somebody to get their house discounted. But things went too far. A little bit, something a bit more wholesome with these games. I don't know. The Xbox 360 was just a good system. I mean, it was a bad hardware, but it just had a. It was more about the games, I guess. It just got more and more cynical as time went on. And so our story begins. Hope it didn't save a billion times. No, the Xbox doesn't freeze up. I was just trying to reload it from a save game, but the way the uh, saving and loading is structured, it's not that great. They don't expect you to have to reload because you don't actually ever die in this game. That's one thing. You only get knocked out, you lose a bit of gold, and you get a scar. So There we go. It's like it never happened. If and when there's a time to break the law, I'll definitely uh, take advantage of it. We'll actually get some decent loot from it. Tired of your own name? Buy it. What are you looking for? <laughs> okay, I have Sparrow now. Oh yeah, that's right. You could call you by different names. You can earn those names too. Chicken Chaser. Dumpling. Oh god. <laughs> Once you have enough people, they call you Dumpling. Chicken Chaser. I think you get that yeah for free if you do mess with enough chickens. I don't have any of these other discounted ones yet. Fear monger would be cool. So if I cause enough fear, I actually uh able to get that one for free. Shadow fiend, that'd be cool. Ten thousand, damn. Chicken oh, choker. <laughs> I don't think they have that one here. I don't want to be called Sparrow the whole time, though. But Dumpling doesn't sound particularly great, either. Some more Jorbs. Is this guy working yet? Nope. 
Somebody was selling guns. Who was that? Is that over here? The gunsmith. Jewelry stall. Six grand. This is a tavern. Taverns are expensive, but good investments once you have enough money for them. I remember grinding a lot to buy my first tavern to be able to get some decent regular income. Now, if I remember right, there's the cheapest, really cheap ones over here, I think. What's that? Yeah, it's only that's only like twelve fifty. I could almost buy one of these. It wouldn't be much income, especially for just a live stream, but if you were to play these, these would definitely be ones you want to look at. Meat stall and stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be a good one to, to invest in and kind of build your way up to owning bigger stores than eventually the... I'll be at the town square if you change your mind. What is that? No, I don't want to have him as my guide. I'll be at the All right. Are there any other jobs? I forgot which uh, jobs or whatnot were in here. It's quest maps. Jorbs. Yeah, three sales now. Why do they have two stone cutter sales? Hmm. I have to really rent out a tavern. I do want to get it to daytime, so maybe I do. Have you got what it takes to play the greatest game ever conceived? All right, what was that game? I'm always curious about the in-game uh, games that they have for these kind of things. Keystone. Looks like your chat got hijacked by armchair philosophers. Sorry, I hear some beer money. <laughs> Thanks, John. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I mean, as long as you're not violating any rules or getting really angry, I'm fine with whatever you're talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like people talking about consciousness and stuff like that. It's like, okay. <laughs> So not much to do with Fable 2, but thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it, John. Uh, play Keystone. Uh, I totally forgot how to play it. Betting on the roll of three dice. One game of Keystone can last for several rounds. Okay, so... The Arch of 16 Stones is the of the layout. It's one stone for each possible roll. As the game proceeds, our stones are removed one by one. One stone will be removed with each roll of the dice. So when you hit a specific number, one of the stones goes out. So one of the center ones will go out. Okay. All right, and then I'm guessing you're trying to get the, the special stones out of there. The same numbers rolled again, a lower arch stone will be removed. Lower means that the stone is physically lower in the arch. The number would be smaller on the left side or larger on the right side, okay. Eleven again. So get twelve. All right. This time I roll over 11 and remove the 12 stone. This is because 11 stone was already gone. Yep. When the arch collapses, the game ends. This happens if either one of the base stones, 3 or 18, is removed, or if both the keystones are removed. An average game lasts about 8 rounds. We could try a couple rounds of this. Kill time. Maybe make, Maybe win some money. Let's do it. Roll the 10 because the 10 and 11 are over. Okay. Yeah. So either both the center ones or the far right and the far left ones. Okay. So you have to bet. Seems like a very weird game. 
don't know if it's based on a real one, but eight, nine, and ten stones. Okay, eight. Inside bets, the rest of the table contains single round wagering spaces, also called inside bets. Different wagers have different odds, such as eight, ten. So you're betting on which is more likely, I guess. Hold left trigger to see the play. Oh, God. Oh, God, math. Okay, so you can make wider bets and lower bets. Oh. And pair spaces. Oh, this is probably why I didn't play this game. <laughs> That's one thing I regret not really liking in Witcher 3 was their card game. I did not like that game at all. Basically, try to put down money where you think you're, it'll land mathematically, but there's just a, an element of luck as well. Okay. Okay, so you can bet your main bets stay, but your intermediate bets. Okay. <laughs> Tried playing Gwent. <laughs> After 30 seconds, I was gone. That's pretty good. That's pretty quotable. It just seemed like Gwent was just incredibly, like, I know you didn't, I mean, it was literally pay to win because you actually had to, like, buy cards from certain vendors and stuff. I mean, it wasn't microtransactions, but it was... Like, there were distinct advantages to having better cards. Like, immense advantages. So, I felt it was kind of cheap that way. Like, imagine if, you know, you could just add more game, uh, like, queens to the board and chess if you had the more queen pieces. Like, that's kind of how Gwent was. Bloodstone. Ugh. All right, I just wanted a quick run through, not like a, a half an hour explanation, guys. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. I am probably going to fail miserably. Place at least one arch bet to begin the game. Well, the center ones are pretty damn likely, so I'm going to, I'm going to do the center ones. Okay, inside bets. I will say pair. Um, I'll say keystone. Twelve to seven. Four to nineteen. Uh actually no, I don't wanna Ah, uh, whatever. I'll do it. Probably terrible. Eh, something, I guess. Did lose money, though. Um, uh, alright. Well, because of that, I would say... 3 to 2, 40 to 2. Ooh. Three in a row. Hmm. 
It has lore for sure. I mean, it, it's kind of fairy tale-y. It does not, not as deep as, say, the Elder Scrolls, but it doesn't, definitely has lore, yeah. There's books you can read. There's lots of other stuff. It's, I'd say lore is decent. I'll say 11. There's different shapes. Um, sure, I'll do that. Nope. Should have bet on 15. I knew it. Okay, that's what I was going to wonder. I was wondering. You don't get... You don't get 15 if it if it rolls over from 14. Okay. That's good to know. I think one of these are going to win. But if that's not going to win, then one of these are definitely going to win. Um, let's do it. Okay, six... Ah, so close. Damn it. All right, I'm going to do it again. Bet on Keystone. But also, the. Oh, right. That actually has to hit 16, right? Damn. That's not a great shot, is it? Well, let's see what else is there. There's some circles. Sure. Not. Yeah. Oh, I got a circle at least. I guess. A little, little bit of money. Still losing money though. Come on. Yeah, Lords of Magic was pretty awesome. Definitely dated now, but uh, it was pretty awesome for the time, for sure. It's winning like tiny, tiny bits here. Um, this rate, the Keystone's not going to get hit, but whatever. Let's do it. Ah. This is madness. Yeah, I watched this review. I I was I think I bought it or or I played it back in the day. Um It's a weird game, but I liked the <laughs> I love the element uh, chart with like the order and you know chaos and all the others. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, but yeah, it's uh, an interesting game. I had no idea that chaos was so broken. Ugh, that's way too high. Yeah. I should stop betting so much. Three to two. Mathematically, this should do it. But, uh, still betting on, betting on the keystone. Oh, I should have been the keystone as well. No. Oh, at least I got four to nine. Still losing money, but it's literally hit everything but these. Okay, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. The circle of life has no beginning or end. Damn it. It's gonna 
robbed me out of a house and home. I mean, mathematically, it should have hit 10 or 11 by now. Hair. Three in a row. Hmm. Still forgetting what that exactly means. 400 to 2. God damn. Who would bet on that? Like, that's those are some hard odds. <laughs> Alright, it's gotta work. Finally, one something. I got most of my money back. This has got to hit it, so I'm going to 13. That and then pair, I guess. Nope, nope, not at all. Oof. All right. Well, hmm. it's got to happen. I want the payout. Give me the, give me the money. No. Got everything, but damn it. One time I put, I put a lot of money down. And I'm like, damned. Oof. Oh, those would be good to have, wouldn't it? Inside bets. Okay. Okay, I might as well go for those. Mm. Nope. I should use the, the center ones more. Repair. Um... Star. <laughs> Distracting text. <laughs> Thanks, John Horn. I appreciate it. Thanks for the donation, man. Hope this is somewhat interesting. I'm I'm not a gambling man myself. Uh let's see. I always kind of want to put a little bit on key, on Keystone. Just in case that pays off. Hmm. Well, let's say a pair. Four. Well. Three to two. Ugh. That's not... Those aren't particularly uh, great odds, are they? It's going to work. Lose the money. A little bit. A little bit back. One of my arch bets here. Okay. Well, it's going to be a pair then. And then I'm going to guess circle. Here we go. Spread our stuff out a little bit. Oh, it, get the, it got the keystone, but then it 
Shift it over to a circle so I didn't get the circle. Uh. Oi, oi, oi. All right. Actually, can I... There we go. Do it. No. God, I'm so terrible at these games. All right. It's better get that 11 at some point. But just in case, I'll do a pair and I'll think, uh, yeah, one of those. Let's do it. Yes. Nice. Let's go to I finally made six gold. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you lose all your money. You have to role play being depressed and get drunk. All right, I'm gonna ba I'm gonna back out. Can I back out? I gained six gold. Yeah. I'm so great at gambling. <laughs> Lost World. Um, It starts off on a really bad foot. Like one of the first lines is... Uh, uh, I, I need to spend my six gold on, on some booze. Let me introduce you. Maybe we can do a special offer for you. Price 10 gold. Gutter beer. <laughs> uh, that doesn't even pay for the beer. Box wine. Oh, God, everything. I can't even pay for my beer. Oh, well. There you go. Yeah, it starts out with like a, thank God for, you know, Site B or whatever. So you're already basically like a gigantic middle finger to everything in the first movie and all the tension in the first movie. So you're already kind of, you're already kind of like, mm, you better be a really good movie or else I'm going to be really mad at the end of this movie. Um, You could tell Jeff Goldblum is not into the movie at all. Um, His whole thing with like, you know, his... Ex's daughter and other things like all the plot elements. I haven't seen it for a while, but uh, it it's not wholesome, you know. Like the first movie was wholesome, you know. You've got the guy who doesn't like kids. You got the girl, the girl who kind of wants kids. The guy doesn't, and then like at the end, he kind of like warms up to the kids, and you know, one of them sleeps on him or whatever. Like it's kind of it's got a kind of wholesomeness to it. The the divorcee uh, Jeff Goldblum with like, you know kids and stuff like that that he's not currently like uh st at home father for and it's just like it lacks that wholesomeness of the first one in, in a lot of ways and uh you know the special effects were good it was you know still steven spielberg and stuff like that but it definitely felt like it was like they were making a sequel because a sequel is what's popular you know what would be popular so i feel i, used to go to a pub called the ambiguous penguin I feel uh it definitely doesn't have the same heart and strength as the original the original was scary i mean there was a man's arm and all the other stuff but i i i feel it's it does is it missing the heart of the original game the original uh movie i can't buy a room here can i no. It's for starters. How do you get a room here? I forget. With a nice game. Out of the way, pup. I won't lie to you. I come here to get drunk. I won't lie to you. I hear to get drunk. Than a pixie dust cocktail. Uh, rest for six hours. Sure. I might get arrested. I may not be doing the right thing. Hopefully I'm good. Don't waste your time with ale. But yeah, I thought the ending was terrible when I first watched it, but 
in a lot of ways that was actually more interesting than a lot of the rest of the movie um upon re-watching and re-watching more reviews but a terrible movie especially in light of the other uh, Jurassic Park movies but it definitely wasn't it was a sequel in in so many ways and with all those problems that come with a, a an unnecessary sequel you know I love Jeff Goldblum. I just think he that he as an actor wasn't into his job, into that role, doing that role again. Can't you hit straight? Apparently not. Can I help you? God, this is so <laughs> difficult with a delay. Uh, I'd be like way better at this if I didn't have that half second delay. No, it's still a landmark movie, and and the the effects and everything that they did for Jurassic Park one was are still great because they kept on like switching it up on us. Like there are literally scenes that have CG animatronics and puppets in the same shot, and it's like that's that's dedication to the craft. That's trying to you know constantly fool you with new ideas and new uh gimmicks and you know so that you don't get wise to it that's the problem everybody just uses cg over everything that everybody knows what it looks like now but when sometimes the cg sometimes the puppet sometimes have something else you it tricks the eye into like not really being sure what it is at any given moment and you never you never want your audience to think oh this is cg or oh that's a puppet you want them to be scared of that thing that's why alien was such a uh, marvel of its time too because they use such amazing costuming and props they almost it was almost hilarious they almost had a dog in a costume play the alien God, but right last minute they made an amazing costume for a really tall guy to wear and it was freaking terrifying you know all like the the gel and the ooze and the and just the cinematography was also great i mean they used some cg for certain shots that they had to but they didn't rely on nothing but cg and that's that's what makes it a lot better in my opinion than the Jurassic World movies, because Jurassic World movies are just filled to the brim. They're basically like Transformer movies with dinosaurs instead of robots at this point. Yeah, some of the bones looked eerily realistic, so I wouldn't doubt that H.R. Giger, uh, I think it's a Geiger, I think it's Giger, that. did that. It's like a, <laughs> he was a pretty, pretty disturbed individual, but he was a freaking amazingly uh, inspired artist. All right, one more, one more freaking hammer, and then I'm, and then I'm, I'm uh, gonna go do some adventuring. I've done enough. I forgot how many uh, intercity activities they had, though. This is pretty cool. As long as the economy stays Very in basic it. mini game, but right. You're hitting it all wrong. maybe if you get me a better display, sir. All right, I quit, blacksmith. It was invested. The company that made Alien was investigated for how much uh, investigated for uh, illegal porno because of how much sludge they bought. That is hilarious. They needed a lot, though. I mean, that effect was just gruesome. Like when the guy was like looking up and there's just like dripping all over him. They did a great job with that. They didn't hold back. And it may be an urban legend. I'm not. I haven't verified it, but. The, the scene, you know, the scene where you get the alien first comes out. Um, apparently, they not all the staff were, not all the actors were told. And so that was a bit of a surprise. And so when it happened, like part of that was real shock as well as, as acting. So I think that made it a bit more genuine. That's the legend as, it, as it's, 
as it's told, I don't know how true it is. Sometimes those things kind of last longer than they're really, you know, they're kind of spread. And then by the time anybody actually verifies it, it's already, you know, truth. So. But supposedly that was what happened, which. Come on, let's show this arch brain what bondage can do. Don't just stand there. Magic. I've heard there's some good uh, TV shows and stuff like that that get into uh, the special effects and makeup and stuff. I mean, that those movies are definitely propped up by their amazing production. I mean, if Alien wasn't such an, a production value as Marvel, we wouldn't nearly have been as effective and as memorable as it is. I like to think that story is everything, but when you're tr when you're trying to get across. Unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial yeah, she's to She's talking over me fighter. now. Um, the greater your accuracy. But, uh, yeah, w w in terms of, like, storytelling and making an impact, you Shock definitely your want your special effects to actually help tell that story. Vortex creates a powerful windstorm that will pummel your enemies with nearby... I do want raised dead. Uh, that'd be pretty fun. Enemies. Raised oh, I can get that. Causes the bone. Oh, well, I guess I can't undo it now. Spell selector. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an, an interesting, uh, Interesting. Oh, cool. Hey, little zombie guys or ghosties or whatever. But yeah, I find it really fascinating the the amount of talent that those guys have to make something look real. You know, they paint literally uh, craft a face and paint it over you and attach it every single day of shooting. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, it's possible with the, the T-Rexes thing. I mean, things are shot so many times that it's possible they didn't know the first time, but then they knew the second time, obviously. But I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a pretty great effect, though. I mean, that it's... Uh, he had a really... Considering it's not really his forte is the horror movies, I mean, he had a really great sense of what people are kind of have a secret fear of. So I think Steven Spielberg really tapped into that, like the idea that, you know, you have something right on the other side of a transparent sheet of glass that's broken in. So like that, we quite often think of glass like, an, you know, windows in our houses as sort of like a magical barrier that nothing can get through. But having that just immediately, you know, broken and that you're holding on to like this barrier that normally keeps you and the outer worlds, you know, separate and you safe. That just is gone in an instant. That kind of idea is really, uh, it speaks to a, a kind of deeper terror to, you know, without being outright horror, it definitely is very effective, for especially for kids and stuff. Seems like it was just night. Did I really play the, like, the card games all night? Yeah, I got to sleep at the end. Oh, yeah, the buildup is amazing amazing that the that's the art of tension i mean it's such a lost art i i really hate to see how many of the i mean I, not I'm not saying i could make a movie and make you know sell a million tickets but 
just the idea of of like the principle of not showing your giving away the the goods and not showing a thing building up attention before you just outright throw out the monster i mean that's such a it, it's so documented and and well known at this point that i i just i hate when i see movies uh violate that you know it's so it's so effective when done correctly i think that's one one thing gareth edwards does really well is the building up of attention and not showing the monster too much in his movie uh the godzilla movie and with monsters i think that's those are really good examples of not violating that principle That's why Alien was so effective, is because you don't really see it that that much, really. You saw it every other scene, like you see in the later movies. It wouldn't be that scary. We love the look of the creature, but we don't want to. We really don't want to see it too much, because it ru it ruins the uh, effectiveness of it. I could get a little get a little hobo wagon here. If I can look at it. How much is the hobo wagon? Oh, George the Stonecutter. Fifteen grand, huh? Oof. It's a lot more than I thought it would be. Who are you? Oh, hello. Benjamin the Traveler. All right, they might have a oh, the jeweler is out there. Maybe I can buy a ring and marry that girl back there. That could be kind of a cool way to cap off the night. Uh, let's see, it's the jeweler. There she is. Here, I've got stuff to sell. You've come to the right place. Uh, sell that. Uh, sell the necklace. Bring anything else you don't need. If you have anything else to sell, you know where to find me. I don't have a, a house though to ever move in, but beggar's ring. <laughs> Not the best necessarily the best gift. Let's see. Where's uh mood ring? afford that civil ring that seems about my price range that's probably what I'm gonna do forever ring eh, it's not much more the best things in the store that I mean, for, yeah, for 400, I could do a forever ring. I think that'd probably be pretty good. Oh, I, can really recommend this. I could even afford the eternal love, but honestly, forever ring should be fine. Oh, yeah, I mean, it. there's a way to describe that scene, I guess. Uh, if you're, Welcome, stranger. if you're really good at at writing, if you want to show um, you but. Yeah, it definitely works more for visual format. That's why adaptation is the hardest thing ever. One of the worst things about books is the fact that there's so many, so much internal thoughts and, and so much inner monologue. Turning that into a workable movie is painstakingly difficult and annoying. Um, that's one of the first things that goes. When you convert a book into a movie or a TV show, you have to take out like 90% of the internal thoughts and dialogue like you'll notice <coughs> lord of the rings uh game of thrones um any of these really big successful epics they have like no internal monologues at all because it doesn't work on screen not very well so but that i don't i can't speak for game of thrones but i know there was a lot in uh of like thinking and remembering and, and details like oh this is the song that represented blah you know in lord of the rings so I definitely uh, notice when those are taken away. You know, Ender's Game as well. That was all gutted. A lot of other good things were gutted, but you know, it's the medium doesn't doesn't support that. With reading, you can read all these internal thoughts that all happen within a split second. But imagine pausing the movie 
and having this guy like talk about a bunch of random stuff for like two minutes and then play the movie. That would be incredibly annoying. Gypsy camp. So I might uh, marry this gypsy and then call her a night. I can get through it a lot, but I'm surprised. I, I'm just happy that I even got to the stream. I swear I've been, I spent like three to four hours just getting set to work. I've got it mostly set up now. Obviously it's not ideal, but with a couple of tweaks, I could probably get this to work pretty well. Uh, all right, where's the girl? Does she still love me? Was it? It was Angela, right? Wow! Hi, Sparrow. That wasn't these. Oh, that's Angela. Oh, that's Angela. Yeah. So it's uh, she's you know grown a little bit cold. All right, let's do the. She likes the uh, muscles, right? I hope so. Nope. Keep practicing. Yeah, I kind of messed up in that one. Anyway. Oh, let's see. How is everything? The pickup line. Yeah, the lighting's pretty good in this game. I gotta say. I was already happy. Really now I'm happier. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Right. I'm I'm like still doing the the blacksmith delay. I'm kind of messing up on that. you're great. This day just gets better and better. Excellent. Amazing. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Really, quite wonderful. All right, she's pretty close. Oh, you've got something to say? Huh? I was already happy. Mm, now I'm yeah. happy. Oh. I see it. I like it. Practicing, practicing. No, not him. <laughs> no, thank you. Do it. That's right. Read any good books lately? All right, whistle, 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 whistle. Ah. Waited too, <laughs> waited too long. Alright, I'm gonna try that again. I was already happy. Now I'm happier. Yes, yes. Okay, got a green. There you go. But yeah, it definitely has a, a kind of timeless look to it. A higher resolution, better frame rate, more stability would uh, stable performance would be pretty great. All right, she up, uh, she up to the point yet? No. Are you going to be really romantic? Not too bad. I hope so. What were you? Okay, let's run one more flirty. Probably a uh, pick up line, maybe. This is really romantic. As awful as anything I've ever seen. This day just gets There she is. is what romance is all about. Oh, show me now. I can't. All right, let's go right for it. Forever ring. Let's do it. Oh, doesn't matter how many times I see it. It just gets better. Where is the best place to get Okay, so now with Troth, we need a house first to actually seal the deal. Aww, who's a cute little sparrow? Excellent. Ooh, good. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Um yeah, probably enough now. I got some other things we gotta take care of. But yeah, hopefully I can figure out the thing. Uh, unfortunately, the PS3 is is being difficult. It has HDCP uh, protection, which the Xbox 360 does not have, and the PS4 even had that protection. But after like I forgot how long, enough streamers and YouTubers and other guys were like, "Hey, come on, we really, really want to 
you know, we're going to get your content either way. We might as well make it easier for people to promote your games. And so they patch the PS4 to remove that. But um, the PS3 won't get that because it's just too old. They're not going to re redo all the way it handles video and audio. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get Demon Souls next week. I'd be really fun to play that again. I really enjoy that game. Um, hopefully it's as good as I remember. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure out this delay thing because playing a, a uh, Soulsborne game with delay would be like, this has, this is luckily enough casual enough and like easy enough to work without, you know, a really good, uh, <laughs> can I igloo? <laughs> Thanks, John. I really appreciate the donation. Uh, to work without the, you know, actually being able to tell what you're doing, but yeah, I'd have to pick that, figure that out. I think I just have to route the video to my big screen or something. Anyway, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and all the donations and I'll talk to you later, guys. Thank you so much.